G'day guys, welcome back. Just a quick video, another one for the 24. So just a bit of a setup video. So when you build your scope initially, you'll find a flat level ground or as, as flat as it can be. Come out, put the base down, and then you'll level that. So I'll show how I do that. I've just got a um, spirit level over there. You get that reasonably level, and then you come in, you put the, um, the rocker box on there and build the rest as you would. So rocker box, mirror, uh, trusses, top section, and um, and then you'll do a collimation. Usually, whatever I'm looking to image first, that's where roughly where I'll point the scope, and then I'll collimate it at that height, just to safeguard. So any anything like that. So after you build the scope, you want to turn it to home so I'm going to press the button now and it's going to show you where I position the scope so zero degrees true north return to home I'll press the button if you proceed the telescope will be moved to the home position and reset are you sure yes so this way when the gear um, is reset when all the sensors are reset and they know where zero is and true north and it basically can just do a, an instant and a go to and it usually ends up very very close to where it needs to be and um, you can usually find it in 18, 18 millimeter eyepiece it's usually pretty close to the center so if you look there that's it at home reset Reset yes, and then you go to unpark, and then we will go to, we might do a quick go to, to where Venus will be, Venus will be about here somewhere, and Venus. That's interesting. A few moments later. Um, we're back. We had a little bit of trouble. Um, most of it my fault. So um, I'm going to leave it in. So we'll see. We'll see how we go. Basically, what happened was um, when I finished imaging this morning, I didn't turn the scope off, and it went. Uh, it kept tracking. I took the kids to school and everything. Um, and when I came home, it was pointed to the west on the horizon limit at the bottom. There must have been some clutch slipping at the back when it gets to the, the limits. So then when I tried to do a go-to, it wouldn't reset back to north zero degrees. So we're going to try it again. I've just I've sorted it out. So what I did is I undid the clutch. I let it put itself back to where it thought it was um, zero degrees true north and then I tightened up the clutch and reset it then. So we'll hit the initialize park button and then we'll go return to home. And what it's going to do, it's going to put itself down back down to zero degrees true north and then as I said before It'll start from once it knows where it is, the um, 
the position sensors can work out very, you know, quite close to where um, uh, everything is in the sky. So as we're going, mirrors down the bottom, it'll stop at zero. You hope it stops. All right, so that's zero degrees, true north. I'll press at home reset. Resets it on step. Unpark. Go back out. Solar system. Venus. Go to. So Venus, Venus at the moment is about, I think it's about 30, 38 degrees. So very, very close to true north at the moment and 38 degrees. So that'll finish at hopefully 38 degrees. And 38. So it's 37 and still going. And it's just finished. So that center square went hard red. Hold it down. Sink on Venus. Yep. And away you are. Mars. Mars is just behind. Venus in front of Venus just behind Venus at the moment so we can go to Mars as well Watch. can abort at any time there you go sink sink on Mars so as simple as that once you update your location and the time and um, it will always show you what's in the night sky so the sun the moon's just a bit behind and venus and mars are the only things that are up at the moment because it's late in the afternoon so you'll only be able to pick the things that are above the horizon to save any trouble so all right guys that's about it and till next time bye for now